Usually on a nice day like this, on the first day of free agency, I'm ready to grab the clubs and hit the links for an early round of nine because I know the Ravens are going to be quiet in that initial wave of spending. <sighs> hey, but not this year. Things just have a different feel to them. And the Ravens, they could be players in the early days of the new league year. Maybe we should have believed Dossie Newsom when he said that the Ravens could be, quote, very active in free agency. John Harbaugh also said at the Combine, we have cap room this year, believe it or not. There's more flexibility in our cap this year than we've had. And those comments came before the Ravens worked out a new contract with Joe Flacco, parted ways with Daryl Smith and Chris Canty, and restructured Marshall Yonda's deal, and also got Kyle Arrington to take a pay cut. Now, those moves cleared the deck for Ozzie Newsom to open up the checkbook on players that he likes, and that could make things really interesting this week. Now, Ozzie, he'll always stick to that philosophy, right player, right price. So don't expect the Ravens to go out and vastly overpay for someone like you see some teams doing. But he has room to make shrewd moves, and it would not surprise me if he broke recent tradition and signed a couple of unrestricted free agents this year. That's already started happening with the addition of tight end Benjamin Watson from the Saints. Now, we don't know exactly how the next few days of free agency are going to shake out, but what we do know is that things are going to be fun and interesting. Now, this is a perfect time of the year to remind you to make sure you download that Ravens app and make sure that you turn on those push notifications and we'll bring the news right to you as soon as we know it. That's it for me on the final drive today, but thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.